It's T cut me here today. I'm gonna give y'all a tour of my suite today. This what we have. Excuse my junk down there. I'm not done. So alright, I'm gonna go through everything. Got this futon. I'm gonna end up taking that out because I'm gonna get a shampoo bowl in here. As you'll see, there's no plumbing in here, but I'ma have a shampoo bowl in here. I'ma make that a separate video. Some of y'all actually gonna need that information, I'm sure. Excuse my junk down there. All right, um, got that Google comment right there. When you get a Google My Business, they send you a marketing package. You can print out any of your comments, um, your best comment. Uh, they also give you some of these right here. I just chose to hang that on the way out. So when they walk out there, see, look, let me put my man on Google, get my review. All right, moving forward, we got um, this display case from my kid. Got that straight from my kid. I got all these little marketing materials from Square and Google. Um, not these business cards. That's a separate video. I'll show you exactly where I got these. Um, you could get a thousand for twenty dollars of these, and you could just design them however you want. And I could show you how to get a um, thousand of these. Is it for fifty dollars? Or you get it front and back with the gloss for like eighty dollars. So all together, you can uh, get a thousand of each for like twenty bucks. I mean, not twenty bucks for like a hundred bucks. Um, this is paint. A lot of people ask me about this. This is paint. Um, I did this with a paint roller. Some people may have seen the paint rollers before, but if requested, I'll go through it and show you how to do it. Uh, just simply hung that TV. Got one of these little wire hiders, painted that a little bit. I love these long bars. They give you so many uh, options and extensions. Um, another storage case for my kid. I like this one. It's rated at like 200 pounds or something like that. So I actually gonna get another one because I need more storage. Got the aromatherapy thing going in there. Got some peppermint lavender in there and I keep mints. Some chocolates at the bottom. They always fall at the bottom. Mints, chocolates. These kids love these. Um, got my tie warmer. Um, of course, you see I've been working on the male units. So I've been working on that lady. That's what that mannequin right there is for. This, I use this mainly for my towels. Um, like I said, I'm probably gonna get another one of these. I'm probably gonna get rid of that because I have like an ass load of towels. Um, and I just don't like how this look. You know, I got, I'm a real organized person. So I don't like anything being out. And I'm gonna get rid of this too as well. <coughs> just try to have everything put away um, I don't like seeing things um, moving on I got two windows in here give me a nice light um, started off with that bar light right there Home Depot I think it was like 30 bucks or something it's like a two two and a half or three foot bar or something like that but then I upgraded and got this ring light which I'm gonna end up um, getting an anchor and putting it on the wall right there um, this shelf it's a piece of the floor. Oh yeah, I didn't even go through the floor. So this shelf is a piece of the floor and I hung that um, myself. These little L-shaped things. Um, this bar right here, this electrical outlet bar. I told you I love these a little bit a minute ago and this is why. So um, although it looks like it's a little bit confusing down here, I have nothing that's tangled. I got a couple that's twisted, probably because I need to put these little orange wire things on it, but that just happens in Barber and Pear. But nothing is tangled, I'm gonna show you. And pull everything. Um, oh shoot! Actually, unplugged that one. All right, so um, <coughs> I started over here. So you see, this cord is a little funky, but it's not tangled. I could pull it straight off the wall. This cord too, a little funky as well, but still straight off the wall. These are not tied up with these. These are not tied up. Um, this is a separate one for the ring light. Also not tied up. Um, blow dryer, they're all free. When I pull my clippers off the wall, they don't get any tangles. Um, only one thing that might tangle up is my iPhone cord, because I put that in different places and that might cause some of the cords to tangle up. But the idea is, look. <coughs> yeah, I, this happened with the iPhone cord. So as long as I keep the iPhone cord out of the way, I'm sorry for the shakiness. So look. <coughs> so the end of the cord has a specific spot and the clipper has a specific spot as long as they remain in the same spot 
without any interruptions, it should never get twisted. So prime example, I'm gonna show you. I pull this clipper off, I use it, I shape up, I put the clipper right back, all right? As long as I don't pick this clipper up, pick this clipper up at the same time, and put this here and put that there, it won't get, it won't get jangled. The most that'll happen is you'll get this little funkiness at the bottom, but you just stretch the cord all the way out and that'll come out. Um, if you're a barber, then you know that that's just going to happen. There's enough you can really, really do to avoid that. As you see, I got the little cord coder and I still got a little tangle at the bottom. So um, the idea is separate the cords with something like this. Those little square things don't work because they keep all the cords aligned. You want to keep them. Well, they keep them in like one above each other, you know? The four piece, one there, one there, one there, one there. All right, you know what I'm talking about. But the bar was separated, you see? You got one, two, three, four. So as long as they in separate lines and they remain in separate lines, they'll never get tangled. So I don't have tangled issues. A lot of bars have been suffering with that for years, but that's the fix to that. Get you one of these or get you a smaller one, however it works, but get you a long one that separates and separates your clipper somehow. If you're gonna keep them in the case, know where each clipper goes. It's more confusing in the case, but if you're gonna use a case, put each clipper back where it belongs. Don't pick up a clipper, switch it, pick up a clipper, put it a different place. You're always gonna get tangled. Moving on, got the steamer. Um, simple steamer, Amazon, I think it was like 80 bucks. Real good steamer, ring light, um, the veneer one off Amazon, uh, 100 bucks, I think. Uh, it's Oster blade holder right here. Now, it's mountable. Uh, if you can see down here, put in these little, um, I forget, they like locking bolts or whatever. That way I mount that. Keep them covered for sanitation purposes. Excuse me. And these clippers are mounted with the uh, clipper rack. I think it might be sold by Oster as well. Um, but it's like one, just one, one basic place that, that sells these. And I mounted them the same way I was mounting everything else in the world. They won't come out. They don't go anywhere. They're good to go. You don't got to worry about none of that. It's simple little storage drawer, Ikea, Walmart somewhere. Razors, you gotta have something like this. Like, please don't put your razors just in random things and just all over in the trash. That's it's not cool. Um, I use plastic sometimes, but you can see it's like the furthest place from me, so you can tell how much I use plastic. I really don't use plastic a lot, but I'm gonna get into fading with these blades. I see nobody fade with these blades, and I'm gonna show you how to fade with these blades. Get them, time savers. Your fades will be a lot blurrier. You're gonna be getting it in and out. Like, get those blades. They cost a grip, they're about 20 a piece, 30 a piece, but they worth it. All right, moving on, we're gonna get to this chair. This chair right here, look at that baby. All right. This chair, Amazon. I think it was $600. Got the mat. From, it was like a local Paul's warehouse. I'm not sure if they had Paul's everywhere. I doubt it, but this is a local like warehouse beauty supply joint. It's the inch thick foam mat. I think I paid like 110 for it. Found this at like a thrift store. Walmart sells it um, full price, like 20. I think I paid five for it. That's why I was like, all right, it's small, but whatever. It's for dirty tiles, because I use a lot of white tiles for my services. So you want to have a place for dirty tiles um, to the tile warmer. Now I dropped essential oils in my towels. Just got a couple in there today. Well, right now, anyway. Drop essential oils in there. Um, uh, it, it, they love it. The clients definitely love it. They love the diffuser, too, as well. Um, people who are not even clients who just walk past my room love it. So, um, on to this. Got the massager. A couple different heads on there. That's just like the four-finger head. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I got just a couple like little designs. Like I said, these mirrors, oh, I don't know if I even want to know the price on these mirrors. All right, so these mirrors cost me eight bucks a piece. So both of those paid 16 bucks. It had like a silver trim on it. I just painted over it. This one I got lazy and I just didn't razor blade the edge out and I'll do it later at some time, but there's a whole lot going on with this project, but I'm loving it. 
got a clock in here just so I don't gotta keep turning around look at my phone every second but um that's all the basics now I'm gonna just give you a good shot of the room just so you can see it in totality like I said I got some junk down there because I'm still working it's about 80 to 90 percent down but this is what we got here and this flooring I put this flooring in myself it's like the gray oak laminate flooring from um, Home Depot. It's like 99 cent a square foot, I think. Um, it's pretty good. Now, let me see. I can't really show you. Let's see if I can walk out and find an empty room. I'm not sure. All right, so this, it was just concrete slab um, under this, and then they put an office furniture. I'm an office carpet over it. Just a simple, thin office furniture type of carpet so with that being said that um carpet acted as the pad that you would need in between the laminate floor so the um i didn't have to put a pad down just put the laminate floor right over the carpet and it works perfectly um i could go and show you what a basic room looks like here let me show you what a basic room like just so you can get an idea of all the things i've done in here let me just walk down the hall and try to find an empty room in here So we, so we got, that's what I've been working on. Um, like I said, the shampoo bowl. Gotta be a different video. Um, no plumbing. So, like I said, a lot of people had those issues. And I'm gonna show you how to fix that. If you don't have plumbing. Um, the other alternative is the shampoo bowl that is mobile. It costs, I think, minimum like $1,600. Um, I've got it down to like around like 1000 1100 at most. You see about $500 on it. But you gotta do all this stuff yourself. Uh, working with a plumber to get that done there. And I figure out a nice little system for it. And maybe I can help out some other people. But yeah, that's what we have. T cut me. This this is my suite. This is what we have here, man. I'm in here. Uh -huh. And I've been in here. Since I got the keys like May, June. So I got I think I got the keys like first week of June. I was in here cutting by like a third week of June. Yeah, so I've just been cutting and going at, 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 as um as I go. Let me see what this I should climb. Alright, cool. Got you then, bro. But yeah, um anything any questions you guys got, drop them in the comments. I'll surely answer them. I'll let you know where I got every single thing from. Um, like I said, I'm going to make a separate video on that shampoo bowl. And I'm going to make uh, another video. Of course, the hair um, things are coming. Oh, yeah. I also got... You don't need this, man. You, you can use whatever camera you want. Right now, I'm using my iPhone, as you can see. Uh, just got a nice camera in there and a little stain as well but um as far as cameras go people get too much tricked out into thinking they need a nice camera i pull that camera out every once in a while and for a specific thing and a specific look but for the most part i um i use these iphones all day long they much easier 
used and set up and a couple buttons I could be clicking. Um, don't gotta worry about charging no separate battery and all that stuff. But um, yeah, once I get everything done, I'm gonna make another video. I'm gonna give y'all a total video. Shampoo Bowl should be here next Wednesday through the Monday following next Wednesday. So once I get that in there, I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna show y'all how to do that. Also got some shelving over here. I'm gonna put that long shelf up, up under here. Get my clients like a, a little, little, little bar real quick, just so they can brush their hair. And um, I probably put some smell goods, like some colognes there, just on their way out. They could spray something. Um, but yeah, that's 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 it, man. That's gonna be it for this video. Once I update everything, I'm going to make another one. And if y'all got any questions or y'all want me to make a specific video, I certainly will. Just let me know. T-Cut Me, I'm out.